Jane. So talk about that. How do you find new talent, up and coming talent? What's your go to for that? How um, do you fill your blind spots? Yeah. So pre COVID, I did a ton of classes. I love teaching classes. Um, Casting workshop yeah, classes. Yeah. 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 Um, that you ran yourself or through? No, so I use this. I go. I, there's one company I really love called One on One. One on One, yeah. And they follow very strict guidelines because I had some friends caught up in that whole oh, yeah. drama back in the day. Um, so I'm very cautious who I work for. But I always found really good talent in those situations. That's good to hear. Yeah, I've done those, and I, I I'm always wonder if they are actually what. Is, so, okay, so you. Do you like essentially make notes of people that stood out in the class? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And then, because to be fair, it's quite easy to tell who cares and who doesn't in a class. Uh, speak on that. Um, so like people who are just there to like say, hey, I'm Mike, you know, remember me. Yeah. yeah. And then you are like, well, can you do this different in a scene? And it's like, there's no change. They're, like you can tell they didn't put effort into the scene. Okay. Because I truly look at classes as like a team like let's work on this let's see what let's stretch you let's do this note like i never am like just sitting there being like well show me what you got you know like i see it as more of a conversation and like so anybody who's taken my class knows like i make them sit there and talk about themselves like this and i'm like tell me where you're from like oh cool tell me you know i always make people give me fun facts like um so that i can remember it too it's like a remember mechanism for me but you can always tell if somebody like gets there and they're just like yeah so what are you doing? And well, can you bring me in for that? And it's like, but can you show me what, how you can act first? Right. Like, and it's just, it, they, and it, LA is a bit more in, inclined that way of their, they just kind of take the class to get on somebody's radar. And I'm, all, but I've always told people, I'm like, but if you're not good in class, they're not going to remember you yeah. or they're going to remember you for the wrong reason. Right. So might as well put the effort in and do a really good scene. And then, cause I've had people who I've, I've signed scenes to and they're like, this scene just didn't really drive with me. And I'm like, I get that because I don't know you before I sign scenes. So I, I'm like, okay, well, let's work through it. Let's figure some out. Let's find some grooviness. And if you don't get it, you don't get it. But at yeah. least I know you tried. Yeah. Um, so that was one way. I've do, I do a lot. I did a lot of showcases here. Like all the studios do their diversity showcases. I found some good people on. Um, I love stand-up comedy. Huge oh, fan of that. Interesting. So I found a lot of comedians that way. Um, and now that I live in London, theater. It's sure. a big, big go-to to find and meet new people. Yeah. But I'm also, I'm a bit afraid to say this because I have a feeling I'm going to get a lot of emails, but I love a good general. Like, so most of the time I won't say no to a general. What does that entail for you? Um, usually an agent reaches out and they're like, hey, I have this client that I want you to meet, whatever. And so, like, so when I moved to London, I met with all the big agencies and I offered. I was like, anybody you want me to meet, I need to learn this new talent pool yeah. and I need to learn it quickly. So I will meet anybody. So... That was where I'm saying, like, I would go on, co like, I call them coffee dates, where you just sit there, and my favorite coffee shop in London now gives me a discount because I'm there so That's much. That's hilarious. <laughs> they give me a 20% discount. Wow. There. And one day, it was really funny because I had four generals with actors, and I was the only one in there, so they, you could, they could probably hear me talking. And they're like, what do you do? Because they're like, are you, like, the hiring person for somebody? Because they're like, you're here all the time. Yeah. You're like, oh, this are just you a recruiter? Random, yeah, like, <laughs> this random group of people constantly, like, and they're like, they always try to seem to impress you. She goes on a lot of Bumble dates. <laughs> <I know. laughs> oh, <laughs> do they have Bumble in London? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. But what do you try to get out of a general? Because I asked you this because we sort of touched on this mm -hmm. on your podcast, was the idea that I've interviewed a lot of casting, and I've got some auditions from it, but not a ton. And I think... Part of it is I I like pass the vibe check, but then I I'm not necessarily you know performing mm -hmm. for these people. Yeah. So in a general, how, is it more vibe check mm -hmm. and sort of just those fun facts to remember people or? Yeah, yeah. So I do a couple of things. Like I, it's not like a test by any means in my mind. I really just want to get to know people yeah. and see if they're genuine because I do think there's a lot of actors that just want just get into it for the fame Ugh. the Instagram followers Ugh. the free money all that kind of stuff well, free so, money where's well, the yeah, free like, money well like Instagram wait a second well if you get Instagram Somebody's followers get free money no, like you know what I'm talking about like endorsements and stuff like not actually acting and you're, because you're famous you make a lot yes, of Instagram yes, yes. money or whatever I got you um but like so you're sussing out the, yeah the, the and fake I'm like people. do you actually really want to act and like one of my favorite questions to ask people is oh give it can we can we role play yeah okay Ask this question. Ask the question. Okay. I want to. Okay. Well, now I'm scared. 
<laughs> Your hesitation really, didn't make me no, scared. No, no, it's not, it's not that. I just, I feel like if I do generals, if anybody who listens to this, they're going to be like, I'm going to have this really prepped oh. answer now. No, um, so it's, but it's a pretty basic question. It's literally like, I'm like, if you could choose anyone who's like out there right now to mold oh, your you career Oh, you asked me after. that on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Who would well, you so choose? I already answered that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I said Galifianakis. Yeah. So, because uh, you know how many times people are like, Brad Pitt. And I'm like, well, anyone. Well, of course. Well, like, come on. That's, yeah. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. I mean, it's just like if you pick that one, I didn't pick, Shreep, you I know? didn't pick Brad Pitt because that's too too easy for yeah, me. Too I, get, on the nose, I get the too doppelganger on the of the, him all the time. So <laughs> that's why I didn't pick Brad. Yeah. And it's like if you go and pick, you know, these massive movie stars. Well, of course, every actor wants that to win Oscars and stuff. But I'm like, find the cool niche person like a Galifianakis. Yeah. That you're like, that he does really cool stuff or she's really like on this path that I really love, like this indie path or grittiness or she's a movie, you know, whatever it is. It's just like that makes me see a bit more of who you are. Yeah. But also if I have projects down that line, then I'll be like, oh, they really wanted to do this. Why not give them a shot to like be in this movie that might align right. with what they want?